What's going on? Aaron Goldston here. In this video, we're going to go over how to drop ship on Amazon using Walmart in 2021. In this video, I'm going to show you three different ways to find profitable items on walmart.com that you can then list on your Amazon store. I'm going to go over some of the things you need to be aware of, some of the things you need to avoid, especially with it being 2021. There are uh, there's just one main thing that you really need to be aware of when drop shipping. We're going to go over that. And then at the end of this video, I'm going to give you, literally give you, three different profitable items. Items that are profitable right now that you can literally take and list on your Amazon store and use to, um, you know, to, to start selling. I'm going to give you those items and then I'm going to show you here live the items as well so you can see it and you can see the profit. As a lot of you guys know, I've been, uh, I, I do over a million dollars a year in sales, drop shipping on Amazon. I make about $10,000 a month in net profit. I'll just show you guys my store real quick. I just do this just so you guys know. Um, I, I, I do what I teach. So if we go right here to, to there it is. I'm, I'm kind of doing it backwards. That's the Amazon seller. As you can see, I've done over $5,000 in sales today, uh, over $193,000 in sales. Um, so um, I definitely know what I'm talking about. Um, I do this full time. This is how I make an income. So with that said, let's go ahead and dive into the training now. Let's get to it. So how to drop ship on Amazon using Walmart in 2021. So uh, there's three different ways to find profitable items to drop ship from Walmart to Amazon. And we're going to go over them in kind of the toughest, more la most labor intensive way to the easiest way. The first is looking up items from Walmart on Amazon. And we're going to go over this. But this is basically where we're just going to go through items on Walmart and try to find them on Amazon. And if we do that enough, over time, you will eventually stumble across items that are profitable. The second one is finding a drop shipping seller on Amazon and looking up their items on Walmart. This is a little bit more effective because let's say someone is drop shipping from Walmart and they have 500 items. Well, they're not just going to randomly list items. Hopefully not. What you know, most people will do is they'll only list items on their Amazon store that are or were at some point profitable. Now, if they have 500 items, not all those items will you know, be profitable, but there's a chance a decent percentage of them still will be. So it's kind of like they already did the work up front and we're just kind of piggybacking off of what they've done. And the final way to do it, uh, the easiest, the most effective way, the most time effective way is to use an automated tool to do this for you. Now, there's a couple rules to follow while we're doing this. The first is the item must be profitable. We're not going to lose money on the item. we got to make sure we're making money on the item. On the front end, if you're a little bit more advanced, on the back end as well, we want to include any Walmart shipping fees in the price of the item. Sometimes it'll be like, uh, especially on cheaper items, it might be $5.99 to ship the item. So we just want to make sure when we're listing that item on Amazon that we take into consideration that, okay, this item's 20 bucks on Walmart, but there's also a $5.99 shipping fee. So really, I got to make sure that if I that when I buy this item for $25.99, which will include the product and the shipping fee, I'll still be able to make a profit with that. Uh, we got to make sure both the items are the same, and we got to make sure item on Walmart is sold and shipped by Walmart. So let's go ahead and just go to walmart.com and let's just kind of go over this together. So if we go to walmart.com, what we can do is we can list pretty much any items on, um, on Amazon that are, we, we like generic items. So we, we, we don't want to do like big name brand items for a couple of reasons. First of all, people generally know the price of big name brand products. Um, you know, like how much an iPhone costs or an Xbox costs. The other reason is to sell those items on Amazon, usually it's going to be very, very hard to get permission to sell those items. So we're going to, we're, we, we want to do stuff like, um, uh, like kitchen. Stuff for the kitchen is good. Um, I, I stay away from more, from more tech stuff. But stuff for the kitchen is good. Um, games could be good. Um, but you know, possibly not too many games because uh, you know anything that's got a big name like Lego, usually you need permission on Amazon to list something that has a name brand. Usually there's like 
uh, rights, uh, they, they got protection on Amazon. So some, you might need like a letter of authorization, which is it's pretty hard to get for drop shipping. We're not going to get it from Walmart. So stuff like the kitchen's really good, just to give you some ideas. Stuff like furniture is good. Um, just because it's, you know, pillows could be good. Um, tool sets could be good. Video games I'm generally going to stay away from. I might be able to do some toy stuff, but like kitchen stuff is very, very popular. Um, love for the reasons we talked about. A, now some of these name brand ones we might not, not be able to list, but um, some of them we can. And also, you know, like, you know... You know, the average iPhone, kind of the average person knows how much the average iPhone goes for. But for something like a couch or a chair, let's say a chair set for the outside. Uh, I've sold a fair amount of those, like a, a table set for the outside. So let's just do outside table set. An outside table set, people don't really know how much this could go for. This could go for, you know, like something like this. The average person, this could sell for, you know, 80 bucks. It could sell for 230 bucks. So it's, uh, we like items like this. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to take an item like this and we're just going to copy the, uh, the title and we're going to go to Google. We're going to type it in and then we're going to type, oh, I didn't spell Amazon. And then we're going to type in Amazon and we're going to see it. Ooh, excuse me, guys. We're going to see if someone's selling this item on Amazon. So we're going to click the first one, and we're going to see if this is the same item. We might have gotten a winner right here. Now, once we do this, we need to make sure everything is the same. So we got to make sure, like, this has got a uh, table and four chairs. We have to make sure this is a table and four chairs. Um, flash furniture, it's 28 inches, square metal table. So we want to make sure, and we, we kind of want to zoom in. And we want to make sure that this table is 28 inches. Um, and it's this is really when the details come into play. So look right here. Top size, 28 inches. So that's good. And this is something we need to be doing. Now let's look at the other details of this. Um, five millimeter thick glass. I like to look at numbers, right? So square table with 5 mm thick glass, clear. Let's see if it says anything of 5 mm thick glass. And sometimes I'll just search it. 5 mm. Oh, here it is. Look right here. 5 mm thick glass, 1.375 inch edge top, 1.3. All right, very good. Tw stacks 23 high, holds up to 332 pounds. Um, chair up to 352, sorry, 352 pounds. So it looks like this item similar is the same item. And time needs to be spent doing this. It's very easy to get mixed up and, you know, uh, you know, it, everything might look the same, but the table might be 28 inches wide here, but on Walmart, it's 24 inches. And then the customer gets the item, and they're upset, because the Amazon listing said it was 28 inches, but the one you shipped them was 24. So you really have to spend some time to, to go through this and uh, make sure it's the same item. And it looks like we got a winner right here. Now, what we're going to do is, let's see, this item sells for... $180.50, and you see the color right there. The other thing is we're gonna do shipped and sold from Walmart. So listen, this is very important. Shipped and sold from Walmart is very, very important. Um, the re we don't want it, to, we, we only wanna list items that are shipped and sold from Walmart. The reason is Walmart pretty much has these items in stock and will get them to the customers really quick. If you do ship and sell from another company like Costco or Hay Needle or some third party, sometimes that item might actually be out of stock. You know how we drop ship items and sometimes they're out of stock? Sometimes other companies are drop shipping items on Walmart and they're out of stock. And the problem with that is if it's out of stock, it can be hard to, and it can take some time to get a refund from the third seller. So let's say we buy the item from third party org. It ships and sold from Third Party Org. And two weeks go by, and Third Party Org hasn't even shipped the item yet. And the customer messages us on Amazon, and they say, Bro, where's my item? You haven't shipped it yet. I'm pissed off. And we contact Walmart, and we say, You can contact Walmart through their chat, or you can call them. And you say, Hey, Walmart, I bought this item two, two, two weeks ago. It hasn't shipped yet. What's going on? Because it's through a third party, 
Walmart won't be able to just like cancel the item or refund you. Usually you have to go through a process where they submit something to the third party and you gotta wait possibly a few days or even a week. And you gotta wait for the third party to cancel the item. And all this time, the, the customer that bought your item from Walmart, Amazon, they're upset, they're more likely to do an A to Z claim or leave you negative feedback. In these situations, you usually will be able to eventually get the item canceled from the third party and get a refund. But if it takes you three weeks and you get an A to Z claim, it's just not worth it. Just trust me, we wanna make sure right here, it says shipped and sold from Walmart only. This is the rule that I follow. This is the rule that I teach everyone. Now, I mean, we might have found a winner right here. So let's see. We're going to go look at this item. And let's see what it's selling for. So we are all going to take the cheapest item because we want our item to be the cheapest. So $209.50. And Amazon charges 15%. That's their fee. Everyone pays it to sell it. So if we multiply this by 15%, or actually I'm going to do 85% because that will just get me to that time. So... I'm doing it on the calculator, 209.50 times 85%. That means that if we sell the item at this price, and I always do it based on the lowest price so we're competitive, we would get $178 for this item. If we go back here, this item costs $180.50. So with everything else being the same, we would actually lose money if we listed this item. Now, there are a couple tricks that people will do to be able to, you might say, Aaron, how is it that this customer is able to sell it at this price? Well, one of the reasons is sometimes the, uh, the, the person that's listing their item, their repricer is a bad repricer and it's not working well. The other reason is they might be using uh, cash back or they might be using discounts. So if you have a Walmart credit card, if you have a Walmart credit card, you will get, and you buy this item with your Walmart credit card, you will get 5% off the entire thing. So if we go to um, calculator and we type in 180 times 50 and we multiply that by 95%. If you use your Walmart credit card, instead of paying $180, you'd basically get this for $171. So if you had a Walmart credit card, you could actually become profitable with this item because you would list you could list the item and match it at this price right here. And if you bought the item with your Walmart credit card, you would still be making about seven dollars on this item. So there's you know some advanced tricks here that you could use to make the item to, to make profit with this item. Um, but this was, this was just good. This was like the first example. And then what we would do is we would just go back and we'd basically do this with all these different items. We would take all, you know, we could take any of these items. Um, outside furniture is really good. And we could do the same thing. We could copy this right here. We could go to, you know, we could go back here. And then I type, I type the title and then type Amazon. And I see if it shows up. I usually click the first one. and All right, that's the picture. Oh, look. <laughs> Looks like we got the same one again, very good. So we would do the same process here. We would do the same process here and see if we could make it profitable and, and if this would work. Now, once, once you find an item, and you see it's pretty easy to find an item that someone else is selling. Once you find an item, what we can do is we can go and click new. See where it says new and to from? And we can find these are sellers that are drop shipping items. These are sellers that, well, I don't know for a fact, but my guess is they're drop shipping it from, um, from, um, from, um, from Walmart. And what we can do is we can look at their items and kind of reverse engineer it. Now, I want to use this first example because this has more sellers. So remember this first example here, if we go to sell, see other sellers. We go here, and I want to find someone that doesn't have a ton of feedback, like 37,000 is a ton. I'm looking for someone that's maybe got a hundred, you know, 30 to a few hundred feedback. And so this one looks pretty good. Stone Wood Shop. And once we go here, we can do Stone Workshop Store. And we can look at all the items that they're selling. And I get my get, I could pretty much tell you these items are from Walmart because I've been doing this a while. But if we just start going, they have 823 results. If we open up this item and we copy this right here and we go here. And we type this in and we go to Walmart. 
there's a good chance we're going to find it on Walmart. Ah, there's a good chance. Now that's 100 training pads. This was 30. We got to make sure it's the right one. Ah, uh, but look, there it is. There it is. It's uh, we, we got this one right here. Now this will probably have five dollars and this might have a shipping fee with it. Five dollars and ninety nine cents. So we got to price that in. But this this could potentially be a very very good item. And all this is pretty much the whole process. It's just going through these items and looking at them one at a time and doing the work. And what I would do is if I didn't, I, I use a tool for everything because it's the most effective way to do it. But I would just go through each of these items and just do exactly what I showed you and just look and calculate the, uh, the, the use your calculator, any, the price on Amazon, you got to take off 15% of this price. That's what you're going to keep. You're going to take the price, take off 15%, you're going to keep it. And then if you can buy the item from Walmart cheaper, you can literally list the item and that's that. And that's what everyone else is doing. Like this item right here. See, all these people are doing the same thing. This person, this person, four, three people, four people, five people, six people, seven people, eight people, nine people, ten people. There's ten different stores that are literally listing this item. And they're pretty much, my guess is, they're just getting it from Walmart. So all you're going to do is you're just going to be the 11th lister. You're just going to be another person that's listing the item from your store and drop shipping it. Um, so that is that. Now the um, the the final uh, the, the the final way to do it is to use a tool. The tool that I use, and I'll put it in the um, I'll put it in the link. But the tool that I use, basically, what you can do is you can take this seller. So see this seller right here. All right, where guys, where am I at? Where am I at? So this seller right here is 823 products. The tool that I use, you can go into the tool, you can take this seller's, you basically put this seller's contact, uh, uh, Amazon information into the tool and hit go. And what the tool will do is it will go through all 823 products this seller has listed. It will go out there and find the link to the product, either on Walmart, sometimes on Home Depot, um, and then what you can do is you can sort the 823 results that the tool shows you for the most profitable items on down. So out of these 823 items, there might be 400 products or 500 products that are not profitable anymore because that's how it goes. There might be a couple hundred products where the profit is like one or two dollars and there might be 20 to 30 products where the profit is you know, good profit, where it's like, you know, 8 to 10% profit. What the tool will do is after it finds all the, um, uh, the, the, the matching links to the, 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 the supplier, the link to the supplier, you can then sort it by the most profitable item. So then you could then, let's say out of the 823, 30 of the products are like, you know, 7 to 10% profit. You could then list those 30 products in your store. And then what you could do is you could then go scrape this seller. Or this seller's got a lot of items. So I might do, you know, let's see. This one looks like a good one. This seller has, I bet they got maybe a couple thousand. They got 3,000 items. You could do the same thing here. Scrape all their items. The tool that I use, I'll put it in the uh, description below that you could check it out if you want. Um, but these are basically the three different ways that you want to use to find profitable items. Now, as promised, I shared, told you I would share with you three different items that are currently selling, that are profitable, that you could start listing now from Walmart, even if you don't have a credit card or any cash back or anything like that. Here is the first one. I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put these in the uh, description, but let me just, I'm just gonna show you one of them. Or actually here, let me show you a couple of them. So here's one of them right here. This one's at Walmart. It is shipped and sold by Walmart. It's $99. And this item on Amazon is, if we look at the cheapest seller item, they're selling it for $119.40. So if we do $119.40 and we multiply that by $119.40, multiply that by 85%, it is, well here, I'll just, let's just do it in real time, all right? 119, no, 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 that's not right. 119 and um, 40. 
and we're going to multiply that by 85%. That means after selling this item, you're going to get $101.49. The product on Walmart is $99. So it's not the best profit, right? I, I like to shoot for higher, but this is an item you could list right now and you see, right? You could match the cheapest seller of this item and you could still make a couple dollars on every item you sell. And if you're using cash back or, you know, if you're using like a credit card or a Walmart credit card where you're getting money back, then you're, you'd be making even more money. Um, here, I'll just show you another one. This is another one. And this is a bundle. So, what this bundle is, is this is a bundle of eight. You're getting eight of these items. You're getting eight of these items, and the cheapest seller looks like is $48.11. So, if we do $48, or sorry, $48 and one penny, and we take off Amazon's fees, we would get $40.80. $40 on 80 cents. If we go to Walmart.com, we're gonna buy eight of these. So let's see how much eight of these cost. Let's see how much eight of these cost. Where's the clear? So $4.92 times eight, $39.36. And the shipping on this is free, free two-day delivery on $35 or more. It is shipped and sold by Walmart. So again, this is another product that you could literally take right now. Right now you could take it, you could list it, and you would be Oh, it looks like these are a couple. You can list it at this price, and this price is still getting the buy box, so you'd be just fine. You can list it at this price, and you could compete with, you know, these other guys, which would be great. You could go get your piece of the pie. You see, you see all these sellers here? You see all these sellers? It's what we're doing is we're just finding items that are good, and we're just going to become like the 11th seller, or the 20th seller, or the 5th seller of the item. And we just want the, the buy box to rotate between us so we get some of the sales and we make money. So in the description, I will go ahead and put the link to the three items. There's an additional item on top of this um, that are all profitable that you could go list now and you could list it for the, uh, you know, for, um, for uh, the, the, the price that you see in the buy box and you'd be uh, good to go.